Ciao, here I am. This is Doruk, I'm a product designer and framer expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set maximum text character limit in Framer CMS. Let's get started. As you see, we have a blog post section that's connected to CMS. And when we click one of the items, and you will see a summary area that we use in our blog cards. But we can't use like that because it's so long and we want to limit it. But when it comes up to <laughs> calculate manually, it's very <laughs> hard to do that. And why we do that? Because I found the solution by using code override function because there is no support for this in Framer yet. So the only thing you need to do is visit the website I gave you in the video description, copy the code from here and choose the text, then click code overwrite and click new file. Let's say character limit and paste it to here and save then we need to choose character limit and we need to choose the function called with character limit and then when we look the <laughs> canvas there is no changes yet but when we click the preview you will see it's affected you can see the preview in the canvas because when you apply a function on canvas so you can see that because it's how framer works it's how code overwrite works but there's a hack i will show you later in this video but before that let's jump to our code and look at the details and what it does actually we have a function that we set a character limit which is 80 so you can customize it so if you have a hundred so you can change it and click save so let's dive into the code so this is where we check if the text is longer or not so if it is trim it so let's say you have a a sentence but end of it there's a space but you don't want to have a three dots after that space so if there is we remove it let's say you have a dot after your sentences sometimes there are some use cases you can have which is <laughs> four dots after your sentences so we don't want to that so that's where we remove that extra dots on your sentences because we only want to have three dots after our character limit so this is a simple code that helps us so let's jump to a real preview on canvas so you see we have a real preview so this is also connected to summer fields but we have a preview so how do we achieve it the only thing you need to do is a creating a component and applying the code override function inside of that component as you see we have with character limit uh, that i applied before this video when we go to the canvas so you have a live preview it's so simple but it's a tricky part and when you import that component into any page you will see the preview immediately this is how it works and i prefer to use components because it's more simple and all my changes will affect it on canvas so i shouldn't need to go to preview and see the changes on that page that's all before leaving this video i need to mention one thing I'm creating a framework course that I will release very soon. And if you want to get notified, please enter your email and click get notified button. That's all. 
And if you want to have this file, you can click the remix button and duplicate into your project. I stopped the recording before I mentioned one more thing too, but here I am. Uh, this code write function is not for only the CMS. You can also use it without CMS on the components. So let me give you one example too. Let's create a new page and insert our block cart component. And let's detach it and create the new one named block cart 2. As you see, we applied already our code override function, but we want to add a text variable, which is summary. Let's click the text area so we can edit it easily. And as you see, the text is very long, but it's adding three dots. One more bonus thing too. If you have two different components or multiple components that needs text character limit, there is only thing you need to do is just duplicating the code that I gave you and rename with the new name like you can rename it with character limit two or let's say this is 100 and let's say 102 so you can rename it with the character count and you can use it whenever you want that's all do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel and you can follow me on twitter see you on the next framer tutorial